Hey parents, Mr. Jim here, and guess what? All of Mr. Jim podcasts, yes, I'm talking kids short stories, kids animal stories, biology squad, bedtime stories, all of them are now available on Story Button. Story Button is my invention that I invented to make it easier for kids to listen to podcasts, their favorite stories, off of screens. Parents, you know how it goes of putting kids to bed, maybe having to use your phone or an iPad to listen to stories. Well, uh, we want to put that to an end and make it easier for you all to listen to audio stories off of a screen. Story Button is a device that connects to your internet to freely access all of the great kids podcasts available in our library. Go to storybutton.com to learn more. And when you order today, you can save $20 and get free shipping at storybutton.com. Hello, Critter Protectors, Mr. Jim here, and welcome to Kids Animal Stories, a place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our Critter Protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too! Let's go! What seemed like something from a spy movie was actually happening in real life. Isla was kicking her legs as fast as she could and that little piece of ice for their raft, uh, was shrinking by the second. Mia, get on my back. I'm going to jump for it. You see, they were getting closer to shore, but they were going to need to jump. Okay, Epic Lebanon, let me hold on. Mia jumped on Isla's back, and she jumped for it. Boing. And she bounced off what was left of the ice raft. She soared through the air. Mia was holding on as tight as she could, and then they landed softly on the ground. Oh, we made it. It was soft and a pale golden caramel color. Do you know what they're standing on that is soft and pale and has a golden color? Hmm, do you think it's graham cracker crumbs or sand? (laughs) It's probably sand. Or maybe they landed on some kind of uh, dessert island (laughs) filled with marshmallows and graham crackers and... No, unfortunately, this was not a a dessert island. It was a desert island. (laughs) This is terrible, said Mia. I think I now understand uh, how you felt when we were in Antarctica standing on all that snow. Snow is home for me, but whatever this stuff is, it's too hot for my feet. I don't think I like it. Oh, this feels so good for me. As Isla dug her toes into the sand, it felt so good to be warm again and off of that ice raft. It was pretty hot, though, and so Isla made an umbrella out of some leaves for Mia to keep cool. That was really nice of her, but her feet were feeling very hot on that hot sand, and she had this crazy idea. She had this weird thought in her mind that she was supposed to lick her feet to feel cooler. Does that sound like a good idea? (laughs) I don't know. Well, she leaned down and licked her toes and her feet, and instantly it felt much cooler. Whoa, 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 time out, time out. I am not saying that me and you should lick our feet, because <laughs> we definitely shouldn't. That's disgusting. But Isla, like the critter that Isla is, that is a super skill that they have. When it gets really hot, because they usually live in the desert, when it gets really hot, they actually lick their feet and their toes with their tongue, and it helps cool them off. I think I would just rather put my feet in some nice cool water. I think that would cool me off better than me licking my toes. Just then, a flock of arctic terns flew over them and noticed Mia. Hello down there! How you look like you need some help finding Antarctica! Holy smokes, that sounds amazing, said Mia. 
We are headed there now on the, the Southern Australian current. Do you want to join us? Mia was so excited to go back to her cold home, but was sad to leave Isla. They, were, they had now become like best friends. Isla gave her a big hug and said, Oh, don't worry, Mia. I will see you later. It was an amazing adventure together, but now we should probably go back to our own homes and we'll keep in touch for sure. Okay, I'll call you soon, shouted Mia. They waved goodbye and both took off on their own adventures. Mia flew off with those Arctic terns, which that's a bird that lives in Antarctica, and she flew back to that nice cold snow that she wanted. That afternoon, Isla started to gather some things together to make a bed for herself because it was almost nighttime, and she was very tired after that long day out on the ocean. Oh, all right. <sighs> it's time for sleep, said Isla as she knelt down and laid her head down on her pillow. And that night, she dreamed an amazing dream that revealed to her exactly what critter she was, jumping around with all of her friends in Australia. It all made sense. That morning when she woke up, she couldn't wait to go find uh, some more friends that were just like her. Hold on a second. If Isla has figured out what critter that she is, that means that we need to, we need to figure it out too. All right, let's recap some clues. Uh, anything stick out to you? Well, I think we just learned that she lives in Australia in the really hot weather. Okay, so she's not like a penguin. She has reddish fur and skinny with long tail and big feet. Hmm, and she's a good jumper. Do you have any ideas who that could be? What kind of Australian critter is really good at jumping? Hmm. Oh, I know. Is she a dingo? You know, the dingo like a dog. Yeah, there's wild dogs in Australia that are called dingoes and... They have reddish fur, they're kind of skinny with a long tail, they're good jumpers, and... Wait a second. Isla walked on her back legs. Hmm, dingoes don't do that. They they walk like a dog with four legs. Huh. What else... Wait, what did you say? Did you say a kangaroo? Is Isla a kangaroo? Let's see. Kangaroos have reddish fur, They're they're skinny with a long tail and long feet... Um, and they're very good at jumping and they live in Australia. Yes, Isla is a kangaroo. That is so hilarious that she somehow woke up in Antarctica. That is definitely not a good home for kangaroos. They deserve to live in the beautiful Australian outback. Holy smokes, that was quite the adventure that they had to go on together with her friend Mia to get all the way back to where she came from. So now, the rest of the day, Isla spent looking for a group of kangaroos. And there's a special word for that. Do you know what a group of kangaroos is called? They are called a mob. M-O-B. Mob. Yeah, so she needed to go find a mob of kangaroos. Wow, guys, that was such a fun adventure. Great mystery solving, my critter protectors. We could not have done it. Without you. Well, this may be the end of the story, but it's only just the beginning of Isla's great adventure ahead. The end. Great job. You listened all the way to the end. And if you want to become a critter protector, ask your parents to look at the links down in the show notes below. There's a link where you can learn exactly what it takes to become a critter protector. So if you love critters of all shapes and sizes, we definitely need you on our team to protect all the critters around the world. Well, whenever you're listening to this, maybe you're getting ready for bed or in the car or having some quiet time. I hope you have a super duper day and a great night. I will see you next time, my friends. Bye.